while supplies last. Well, for many, the holidays are not complete unless they see the holiday classic, the Nutcracker Ballet. And today, today we have a ballet dancer, Eli Olson of uh, Ballet Arizona. Good to see you. Me too. Thank you. Okay, Eli, how old were you when you first performed in the Nutcracker? My first Nutcracker, I was six years old. Six years and old. And I performed the, performed the role of Fritz, who is Clara's nasty little brother and who causes lots of trouble for her. Oh yeah, give, so, give me some details well, about that. So obviously that's a good part for a six-year-old boy. <laughs> so and you know, he breaks the nutcracker and that was really fun. I mean, you, you know, you have a little mechanism so that you can break it, but pull, pull, pull in the choreography and then I break it and get pulled away by my ear. At six years old, did you want to do, do ballet or was that something your want, parents wanted you to do? Or? I, I did want to do it. My sister's two years older and she started ballet and I liked doing what she did. So I started actually at four. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Now, what roles do you do now? Uh, well, in, in the upcoming show, The Nutcracker, I'm performing the role of the Snow King, uh, the Mouse King, which is my favorite role in the what? ballet from an entertainment perspective. And here's a, here's a picture of it, so Neat. you kind of get the idea. Um, my favorite role for artistically, though, is the Snow King. Um, and it's, it's something that really captures the sort of romance that Tchaikovsky brings through. Yeah, it really, really does. What's your favorite thing about, besides being Mouse King and the Snow King, about the Nutcracker? Is it the music? Is it the dance? Is it the tradition? I think first, it's going to have to be tradition, uh, especially if you're going to make it through many, many years of doing the Nutcracker all, all the time. You have to find something about it that you artistically love or personally love. And the tradition, knowing that families turn to the turn to the Nutcracker and the ballet to capture their imagination and and inspire them about what the holidays mean to them, whether that's you know spiritually or just personally. Yeah, absolutely. You read into it what you want. Tell us a little bit about the story of the Nutcracker. Okay. Well, as I was talking about Fritz, who's Clara's nasty little brother, he is just part of the story there. Really, the Nutcracker is about a little girl and her dreams and her imagination about what maybe her hopes about life, what could be good in life. And she has uh, an eccentric uncle, Dr. Drosselmeyer, who, right. who shows up at her party. He kind of surprises everyone. No one knows who he is. And then he reveals himself. And he's good at magic, probably entertaining the children. He gives her a Nutcracker doll. And it's the prized, prized gift of the evening. And it's given to Clara. She goes to sleep and dreams about the Nutcracker. She wakes up in the middle of the battle scene. And Dr. Drosselmeyer appears and turns her doll Nutcracker, as you see here, into a little boy nutcracker. Yep. <laughs> Shortly after he kills the mouse king, the nutcracker boy comes out of there. It's a little shell of a nutcracker and a, little, and a little boy comes out and takes Clara on into a magical kingdom. First through a land of snow and snowflakes and snow fairies and a snow queen and then from there to the land of sweets. You did a great job explaining that. Now we don't have to go. No, that's yeah, not. Sure. Yeah, but I understand that it actually snows on stage. Now, what's that like for the audience and for the dancers? Well, I think anytime you add another layer of dimension and you add some texture to the stage, it really brings what's happening on stage closer to what we actually feel about the world around us. Um, and, and it happens like that for the artists, too. We're on stage, and all of a sudden there's this new element that's informing our art. And... Sometimes it informs it in a scary way, like I'm, I'm worried I'm going to fall on the snow. That's right. It doesn't happen. You know, people don't fall, and it's it's exciting. It's interesting. You know, Eli, I can't imagine the holidays without the Nutcracker. We're Me so too. excited to see the performance. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. All right. And you can see Ballet Arizona's The Nutcracker from December 10th through the 26th. It's at Symphony Hall. Tickets start at only $17. Discounts are available for students, seniors, military, children, and groups. And to get your tickets, just call the box office or go to Ticketmaster.com. And still to come on Arizona Midday, want to get a body like a ballerina? Mm, stay tuned. We have some hot fitness gifts for everyone on your list.